Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're checking out Unnamed, a game. This is by the same developer that did Insert Title here, which you may remember I covered about, what was it, about a week ago or so. It was a pretty irreverent, surreal kind of wandry game that didn't really seem to go anywhere and it was kind of obtuse and a little bit childish. And so I happened to be browsing on Desera and I come across another game by the same developer, uh, and no think. And it turns out that they still haven't quite figured out a name for their next experimental game, so I thought we would take a look at it. Um, very interesting thing that happened when I downloaded this game, though. I actually found that when it installed into Desera, the reference link to it actually led to my Steam directory for whatever reason, so when I launched the game, it opened Steam. The first time I opened it, I thought maybe I clicked on the wrong thing or something, but I actually went back and I looked at the link itself and, you know, under properties and saw where it was referencing, and it actually went to my Steam library, so I have no idea what was going on there. Maybe there's just a mistake with the upload or something, but uh, regardless, it didn't exactly make me too excited to go on and play this one, uh, considering I now had to go and find it in my Desert folder. Not that that's a big deal, but I'm just saying, like, that's really weird. Uh, then when I started the game up, it actually launches right into this really choppy, like, low frame rate... Oh, there it is, the cutscene that I was just about to tell you about. Uh, we're actually going to, uh, show you the cutscene with the narration properly, because it doesn't seem to have it now for whatever reason. So, I will spare you from having to watch that with the magic of post-processing. Uh, we're just about to watch that again anyway, uh, just so you know, it crashed, like, about six times between me, uh, getting from that cutscene back to this main menu again. So, anyway, let's start it off. I'm going to hit play, you see the cutscene, and then we'll begin the game. What is this? Who are you? Where are you? This is nothing. You are nothing. You are not anywhere. Possibly you're bored of playing games. Now most are all the same. People play to what is currently famous. In other words, the usual. But some people think, is there any games that innovate? That are different? Special? Well, here comes a different one. Welcome. Alright, here we are, in some sort of a padded cell. I guess that's what that is. Either that or... Oh, it just looks like a graphite effect on a grid or something. Uh, we can't look left and right actively, we can only look up or down. It really doesn't help us a whole lot because there's nothing to see in this hallway whatsoever, except for this strobing texture. Uh, so I see this developer has kept their experimental games pretty experimental. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going for jump scares again in this one like we did in the last one, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, there was actually a stereo, like, ambient door closing sound, which is pretty exciting. And it looks like we might be trying to set the mood a little bit more in this one. Uh, I didn't actually click on the chair, but it decided I was going to sit in it, and sit in it completely sideways for whatever reason. I don't know if the developer enjoys this, like, voyeuristic thing of watching people play through their game. Hello. I don't know who are you, and you don't know who I am. We don't need to know anything about us, but I do know one thing. I know how you got here, looking for games on the PC. I guess you're bored. And I ask one thing, of the millions and millions of games out there, why did you choose me? Why have you decided to come here? Curiosity killed the cat, am I right? Relax and enjoy the moment. Function will start shortly. Also, there's a button on the sofa. Click it when you get bored. I don't think that's a sofa, dude. <laughs> uh, also, this would have actually been pretty cool if it weren't, like, stock footage and also clipped on all sides inside of a box. I mean, maybe we could have just had a viewing screen so we could avoid this edge situation, but I know that's the kind of production value we value here for whatever reason. Uh, and if you want to know, why did I pick this? Well, mostly to see if the developer made anything more interesting than last time. I really hate to go, like, be down on this person so much for their creations, because there's nothing wrong with this, and I highly embrace people being creative and making strange things. It's, like, what I'm all about, honestly. I just think that this is not a fully focused... Well, the previous one, anyway, was not a fully focused game, so... 
I don't know. I was just honestly curious to see where this would go. Let's press this button. Again, very strange that I still have a mouse cursor, and I turned it off for you guys so you don't have to see it floating around the screen, but I have a mouse cursor actively flying around, uh, which is actually used in this to activate things. I mean, why not just use the E key? I guess we needed precision for whatever reason. It's a nice little seam there. These pieces of geometry couldn't seem to line up and then just stretch the crap out of all the textures. You know, this kind of stuff you can settle pretty easily with, like, some align functions and texture scaling. It's not really a big deal. I mean, I'm not an expert myself, but I can figure it out. Um, that door is having a problem with that wall. And I can just barely squeeze through this little crack here. I actually, I find these are kind of enjoyable because they're just such a strange experience, so I think they make for decent videos. I don't even know what that is. But correct me if I'm wrong. I do like these little minutes of exposition, or moments of exposition, where it seems like the camera uh, control is taken away from me. Feels a little bit more professional. No! Same door models, though, and everything. Oh no. Are we gonna have to do a slender thing now? I would find that very ironic if the message of the game is, why did you play this because all the games are the same? But here's a flashlight, now run around in some trees. Oh, I'm supposed to click on it. I thought I could move. Oh no, I... Never mind, I guess no slenders for us. In a larger version of that hallway now. Either that or we're supposed to be smaller, I'm not sure. There is a button here. Maybe this is that box that when you press the button, like, you get a million dollars, but it kills someone. No, that's... that's a box. This is just a button. It doesn't even look like a button. It looks like a weird melted circus tent. What's up with this invisible wall here? Why can't I walk past this? There's really no reason that I can't have that little bit of control, right? So now my mouse cursor is positioned at the complete far right-hand corner of the screen. Uh, and for me to get to this button, I actually have to turn around a couple of times so my mouse cursor is back in the center. Maybe just once. I press the button, now there's a door. I'm gonna guess I probably can't walk around the door. Yep, that's what I thought. Good illusion of depth there. Why are you still playing this game? You're not understanding anything, don't you? Go outside. The world is beautiful. And you're in front of your computer playing a senseless game. By the way, I know you're going to open that door. Alright, well, you know I'm gonna open the door because you really didn't present me with much other choice other than quit the game, and... You know, as a game developer, that's probably a pretty crappy aspiration. Uh, well, I guess I'm not sure that you're asserting that you're trying to be a game developer. I'm also worried about these clips of music because they're probably copyrighted. Oh, look, we're back at the beginning again. Now, see, the first thing I did when I started this up in the test recording is to go backward. Just in case we could have a little moment of antechamber. Oh, looks like I can strafe left and right now. I don't think I could do that at first. But I still can't look in any direction other than straight ahead and slightly up or down. Alright, back through another blue door. And back into the red room. And now the sofa, or large comfy chair, has been tipped over. Something sinister is going on here, guys. I hope some sort of disemboweled model from Quake 3 isn't going to shoot out of the wall and kill us. Okay. What does it say? I don't know, I can't really read what the wall says, it's all blurry anyway. I guess I'm supposed to press the button again. Sorry about that. That was just a glitch. It will not happen again. Don't yeah, worry. I bet. Um... The funny thing is, I'm not entirely convinced that really much of this stuff is even supposed to be like this. Maybe this is actually a glitch, and, I mean, obviously it wouldn't really say, like, command line errors, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if these textures just didn't load. Also, I like this light source placed very arbitrarily over this door handle. I'm surprised you're still playing this game. So am I. I appreciate it. You do? One question. You try to Are make you me leave. Are you enjoying it? Do you like it? 
I can almost guarantee if I press no, it's going to quit. So let's press yes. Thank you. I like you too. Please continue. Yeah, I'm glad you get your jollies off by listening to people say that they like your game. That's cool. This is where my imagination ends. The game ends here, but I'm sure you don't want it to end. I can put more strange rooms, but I don't want to. Now you're the one who decides where to go. Okay, I decided I'm going to go off the road here. And into the dark void, and possibly fight the four kings. Pretty sure they're out here somewhere. I'm surprised how big this is. Should probably leave a wall here somewhere, otherwise I'm just going to end up walking away. And you're going to be super bored watching me go back, so I'm going to stop doing that now. So we have three options. Uh, what are they? Surprise, freedom, and what was the last one? Curiosity. I think probably curiosity, because it's the only reason we're here in the first place, right? The tap tap tapping of the walking feet sounds a little bit like the LSD Dream Emulator repetitious footsteps sound. This is a very tall door. I guess they needed to be slightly larger uh, so we could see them from a distance. Oh, very slow in here. This is the molasses room. Hey, it's that room we were in the other time. This was the ending of the first game. So I'm going to pretty much assume this is some kind of model to do with developer's bedroom, perhaps. Well, I can't really get much closer than this, so I'm not sure what to make of this whole thing. Can I power down their computer? Yes. Well, I can click on it anyway. It's supposed to be a phone down on the bottom. It's kind of glitching out pretty bad. You gotta update your uh, YouTube UI there. It's, it's all changed. Alright, let's pick up the phone, I guess. Okay, we got a white screen, some soft music playing. Did I win and or lose? Who knows? It's really tough to say. Wait, was that actually really the end? I thought the game was playing with me still. An experimental indie game. Alright, there's a lot of self-congratulation here. I'm glad you could put together a few screens, I guess. I have to say, it's gotta be one of the worst presentations for a Unity game I've seen in a while. I mean, it just wouldn't stop crashing. And as far as I knew, Unity's pretty stable. Like, every game I've played I've really had very few issues with. I mean, there have been a couple exceptions, but... Uh, this did not do it justice. Alright, well I guess we're gonna go out on a white screen. I don't know if anything's gonna change. Maybe there'll be a jump scare if we wait here long enough. Could be. Uh, regardless, that is the end of that. I don't think I'm probably gonna be investigating this developer's games in the future, unfortunately. So, again, I, I feel bad. It's I don't want to make these particularly harsh, but, you know, I gotta call them like I see them. This was not very well done, and I think most of you guys will probably agree with me. It was not very engaging or interesting or really didn't make me think much of anything. Uh, but, you know, I apologize. If the developer is, like, 13 or something, then I'm gonna feel kind of bad. I don't mean it like that. Uh, if you're still learning, getting your feet running, then I guess props for making something. I just, I'm surprised to see this stuff showing up on Desera of all things. Like, usually, I mean, I, I can't say that they weed out all the stuff that's not, like, that great, but I, most of the time, Desera makes uh, pretty good decisions of what ends up in front of me when I start looking through and browsing. Uh, Alright, well, I guess it is what it is. You guys saw it. Let me know what you think in the comments, as you always tend to. And that will probably be that. So, as always, remember to head on over to the website, indie-impressions.com. We got a Facebook page. Uh, it's facebook.com slash indieimpressions. If you want to leave a like on that, you'll get every day's new video. And feel free to hit me up on Twitter at at RockleySmile if you want to say hey or if you're an indie dev and you want me to check out your game. <laughs> I feel a little bad putting that out there now that I've kind of shredded this one. I'm probably not going to do that. Uh, I rarely see games that are in this sort of a sh uh, state when they get in front of me, but 
I also tend to not generally like to do particularly negative reviews or, or impressions videos, so I don't really do reviews. Uh, but occasionally, I just like to, uh, you know, throw caution to the wind, try something weird, see what happens. This is one of those times. So, take everything I say with a grain of salt. If uh, you're the person who made this, I don't mean anything personal by it. I'm just doing my thing. Hopefully you understand, and I hope you have a lovely night, and I will see you tomorrow for another indie game. Later, guys.